doing what we're to be doing, you will go back to zero. Sound good? Yeah? All right, talk amongst yourselves, figure out what you need to do, and then grab the big box from the other side. I thought we had a really good first practice. Uh, the newcomers all did really well. We definitely did well as working as one cohesive unit, but we'll continue to improve and get better. It seemed like the intensity was pretty high this morning in the morning session, didn't it? Yes, it was. Um, what do you? What are some things you guys uh, have work have been working on this morning um, that maybe you guys uh, can get better from last year? Um. I think really just like getting the newcomers mm -hmm. into our team and like as one unit, that'll be really important in working on our communication and just flowing all together as one. That'll definitely help us a lot. So you being the only senior, Callie, uh, how do you think uh, you need to be obviously maybe take the leadership role a little bit this year. Do you think uh, you'll get uh, uh, settled in that role maybe this year? Yeah, I think we have a lot of good returning players that are leaders mm -hmm. and I think as a team, like we can be leaders together and help one another in different ways and there are a lot of different leaders on this team, but I think just showing the newcomers what we expect and what we want as a team will be super important. Second year under head coach Sarah Rowan, uh, what have you uh, known for, or seen from her last year that uh, may be a little easier to adjust uh, this year into fall, heading into fall practice? She definitely helps us a lot with our technique and focusing on the little things which then lead to the bigger things. and. Working on those little things um, helps us as a whole get better as a team. So what are your expectations for this year? Obviously early, one practice in, but uh, uh, what, what are your expectations for Minnesota Crooks in volleyball? I mean, I have high expectations for us and I think we can achieve a lot. We just need to work hard and come to practice every day and put in the work and the effort and great things can come. Head coach Sarah Rowan joining us now, and Sarah, uh, first practice under the belt. How do you think uh, the girls uh, did this morning? I think they did well. They came in ready to work. Um, you know, we were a little rusty in a couple of areas, but overall I was really pleased with the, the attitude they came in with, the mentality, looking to learn and looking to work hard. Um, you know, the technique stuff will come, but you can't necessarily teach passion mm -hmm. and they have that in loads so I'm happy about that. One thing I noticed was the intensity we talked a little bit about it with Callie but I thought the intensity was pretty high for a first uh, first day practice huh? Yeah definitely they came in with good energy like I said they like to work hard and you know we demand a lot from them and we're trying to do some things we haven't done before so they've got to come in and ready to work each and every practice and they did a good job with that. You talked a little you talk a lot about communication on defense whether I noticed this morning in morning practice a lot of communication stuff so is that something that just kind of comes naturally or is it something you guys work on a lot? It is something that we work mm -hmm. on a lot. Um, it's, you know, I think communication is a huge skill. If you've got six people in a small area, you've got to all be knowing what everyone else is doing and everybody on the same page. So we work on it in every single thing we do. Uh, what, is some things, what are some things that you noticed from this morning practice that maybe uh, uh, Minnesota Crooks and volleyball can get better at as the fall goes along? Um, I think just, you know, part of that communication and everybody being on the same page, we've got a ton of individual talent and, you know, the key will be can we put it all together at once um, and put some, put some good things together and put some wins together. The newcomers, what's it like for them to adjust to the college life here? Um, obviously two days, weightlifting, things like that. So what's it like for the newcomers? We have five of them this year, uh, three freshmen, uh, two JUCO. So what's that like uh, for them to come into UMC and uh, get adjusted to the college volleyball? life. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the biggest things is just the speed of the game. Mm -hmm. um, the game is so much faster. There's no time that they can take off or stand and watch. Um, so we work on that a lot is just being ready each and every moment. Um, and it's it's going to be harder than they've trained before. And it's going to be, you know, more specific with our technique mm -hmm. and what we expect of everybody. So I think it's, it's a lot thrown at them right away in the beginning. It's nice that we don't have school just yet because, you know, we have high expectations for them in the mm -hmm. classroom as well. So um, we'll keep, we'll keep helping them out and bringing them along. Sarah, you have one last message. You have a message for you for Minnesota Crooks and volleyball fans here getting ready for the uh, volleyball season here. Yeah, we're, we're super excited and we're really excited to, you know, have everybody come out and see what we've been working on for a full year here since last season. And we've been working hard and we look forward to putting an entertaining product out there for people to watch.